Welcome to Rounders Reviews. Uh, today we have a Norwegian black metal band uh, called Gravdal and their third album. The previous album Tortur Mantra uh, was a pretty good album but it didn't quite hit the bullseye. This time I don't think or I cannot say if things are much different in that sense, but we definitely have an interesting case here. Before we go on into the very album and the music, let's give the um, release a good look. So, as uh, you can see, Kadaverin is the name of the album and this has a quite an interesting uh, cover image, which is not a typical uh, black metal cover, if you can say that. Um, on the back side, the same color scheme obviously continues, but with the band members and track list and whatever. Inside we have uh, obviously the CD and the booklet and the track list with a nice cool font. Uh, and there is one bonus image underneath it. CD. Inside the booklet, which is, by the way, very thin, there is only lyrics with not your uh, typical uh, typing. I don't know if you can read at all this, but because the, it is uh, not an easy typing as it is. So, pretty cool layout for a pretty cool digipack, all in all. And the thing is, this doesn't tell you one bit uh, what the music is all about because this is actually kind of typical and yet at the same time atypical uh, Norwegian black metal release. What makes this, uh, in a sense, quite a unique album is that it is more um, kind of a collection of sorts of various elements from Norwegian black metal. No score, partially, if you will. The thing is that this is kind of a manifestation of very many phases of what Norwegian black metal is all about. There are mid tempo parts with kind of a sinister evil riffs, then there are more of these kind of almost like folkish black metal riffs, and then there are other ideas which are all meshed up into a one interesting piece of an album. Now I'm gonna do a bit of ex exception to my typical review stuff and I'm gonna give some name dropping to you about uh, what this, what kind of elements this has. Because this is, like I said, a atypical release being an, an, a black metal album. So while the mid-tempo parts, they remind me of uh, cold albums. If you're familiar with the band, you know it's mid-tempo, it's kind of a evil grooviness and there's certain type of unique riffings or almost unique riffs what the, that band is all about. Toulouse, the kind of a predecessor of Cold, uh, it's pretty much the same stuff and there is some Celtic Frost type of uh, ideas with the band. So there's lots of Cold elements here, but it's not all that there is because uh, some riffs uh, on this album are more or less uh, reminding of uh, Shining, which then again has a pretty original style when it comes to creating uh, riffs and uh, song structures and kind of a sinister, even depressive uh, black metal feeling. And uh, you might think that this is all that it is, but not quite, uh, because there are some, some parts that actually remind me of Take, another Norwegian band, and also Helheim, yet another old-school uh, Norwegian name. And if you're familiar with the names, Tarkin and Helheim, you might know that they are the type of uh, bands that got later on um, mixed with kind of those folkish elements like traditional uh, songs and riffs and whatnot. Not the type of evil black metal, not the satanic black metal, which many of you are familiar with, but more on the kind of a folk romantic stuff, in a, say, in a essence. 
So this is, yet again, a mix of uh, very many Scandinavian bands. Mostly Norwegian, but a lot of Swedish stuff. And yet at the same time, it kind of feels like a kind of a collection of these ideas mixed together. And it doesn't stop even there, because there are quite a few uh, guest members on this album uh, from bands such as Satyricon, uh, Take, and the Ruins of Beverast. So one could say that this is a real uh, scene album, you know, a black metal scene uh, kind of a meeting, like let's get together, let's make an album, let's, you know, collaborate, let's cooperate, let's do something shit, some shit together and, you know, get it done with. But in the essence, what matters in the end is, of course, is this any good? And I'm happy to say this is good. It's not like Gravdal is one of the best band of Norwegian black metal of today. No, it's not on the, the top list, but it has a lot of potential to be there because uh, when it comes to, you know, getting feeling of the overall in the album, I gotta say this has much more good stuff than mediocre stuff, not to mention the non-existent bad stuff. So if you are into Nordic black metal, let I'll I would say I would say give this one a shot. It's it's worth your time. And this nice Digipack is a is a nice addition to anybody's CD collection who is in the this kind of metal at all. So check it out. We give it a thumbs up with my wounded thumb. And as always, leave your comments below, challenge me with your uh, opinions and whatnot, and subscribe if you have not done that already. We're gonna give you some nice or not so nice reviews in the future as well. And that's all. Stay metal. Thanks for watching. Bye.